New Year, new projects. We got a K20A on an FD Civic that's really good. It's been car showed. And of course, it has ITB, so this is going to be cool. But also, we got a four door that's gunning for 13 seconds this season, so we're working on that. And of course, a recap on all, of all the builds that we did before that made good power, like this B16A. Yes, and also the VTI that made really good numbers. So basically a recap of all the projects that we did, of course, the plans for the future. Let's go. Here we have a Civic FD, a really, really beautiful one. It came to us a, a few weeks ago. It was having a check engine issues and of course some wiring issues and we did check it. It has a K28 Type R and actually the story of this is that the owner had this built in to join or to compete in a car show. And the owner said it's one or the only one or two of them that has the M2M body kit here in the Philippines. So that's pretty cool. And actually it looks really good because, you know, I always see Mugen body kits and whatnot. But this one is a little different, but really clean and really subtle. But it looks really, really nice and good. So here, yep, look at that. It looks really good. It has TWM ITB here or Toyota style ITB. So that's pretty cool. And the owner said they actually dyno this years ago. It actually, it, this was built like more than 10 years ago. It made around 240 wheel horsepower. That's pretty decent. And that's we know it's not really stock, right? So they dynoed it this way on the car show. It has that dyno sheet to display with the car. So we know it wasn't really you know totally tuned on the street or all the drivability was not totally you know ironed out because they were rushing for the car show here let's start it That sounds really good and the slight rasp that you hear uh during the startup it's actually the exhaust because it wasn't installed properly and we noticed it and we know how to solve it so that'll be fine that'll be fixed after we're done and of course if you notice youtube had an update when i say subscribe here the subscribe button will glow so that means you gotta subscribe on that right so let's go actually even the like button or when i say the word like it glows so hey you gotta like the video it helps okay after warming up the car we get the view from the outside that you guys hear the itb we all want to hear that right let's go Oh man, those of you guys who, who, who knows or who has run Weber or Mikuni side draft, this sounds good. Reminds us of, of ITBs or obviously or of carb or carburetor setup. This is so good. All right. And now the owner and I agreed we got to rebuild this because it's been over way over a decade. So we're going to check on everything here. And of course, we did check the lash or the tappets. And here it is, so looking good. But hey, look, that is not a stock cam, right? So I called up the owner and he did say it runs a drag cartel cam, but he can't remember what stage. So we'll just find that out easy when we build this. So stay tuned for that. So that also means you gotta subscribe because you gotta wait for that when we do the episode one. And so to a sort of recap, many of you guys remember this B16A that we did, it has 
CTR pistons, but only ITR cams. So this did really, really good numbers. It made 186 wheel horsepower. That's crazy, right? And so the reason why I mentioned this is because I'm hoping for a next project we can do a something similar, but this time with Pro One cams, that's gonna probably gonna do 200 wheel horsepower. So hopefully Anton or someone else gets to figure that out because I knew this was gonna be hard. So I did make sure the head and the intake manifold was flowing really, really good. So it gave us 186 wheel horsepower on just ITR cam. So we know that did really good. So even for Anton, he can just upgrade with ultra street intake manifold. It's gonna be a lot better than this work that I did here. But of course, even if he jumps to a Pro 1 cams, that looks like it's gonna be a 200 wheel horsepower B16A that's dynoed on a dyno jet. That's gonna be crazy good, right? So hey, remember this video I hear earlier for a kid named Todd. We did this from the ground up. We used his VDI block. Sorry, I don't have a full picture of the car, but we did a VDI block, but also got a Z6 or PO8 head for him, ordered everything from Crower Camps to Valtrain, the pistons, even ARP rod balls, managed to build it good. We were hoping to get the most effort or maximum efficiency for the engine. And hey, it did really, really good. It actually did awesome. And it surprised us because it runs full exhaust on a generic 421 header. So that's pretty good, right? Here are the pictures of it and the dyno. Yes, it actually looks clean and really good. It made 151 wheel horsepower. That's crazy good. That's good for at least 14.1 or 14 flat, or if driven well, might dip into the 13s. So that means that has some kind of good repercussions because this runs a full exhaust with the muffler. And so this guy, other one, this guy from the south, did say his goal is to run mid 13s or slightly better on his four door. So I told him the run about and all the set that's needed and he's still down for it. And actually now he's actually planning to send his engine to me or to us for the full build. And the good thing here, it's gonna be dynoed. So hey, that's a series you gotta check, so you must subscribe. And of course, if you guys remember this autocross mini me that we did from a D16A6 block with a PO8, ported head and of course the skunk to that we ported the owner then now is deciding on getting a camshaft for this setup because he's running a stock cam so he did say well the engine is still here maybe he can get a order a cam through me so i did say okay yeah we can do that so we're just gonna leave the engine on the stand because we gotta disassemble the top end when the camshaft arrives and get it good so it's gonna be a fun autocross engine for him oh yeah and of course, I'm sure many of you guys are wondering about my red four door. The thing is, it was on the project or the series was going really well until until I found out the LTO or the local office no longer allows engines do with paperwork that came from a different car. And my my D sixteen A six came from someone else's car. So now I have to get an engine block or at least an engine that has import importation papers, straight surplus. So that means I have to get a different block to be able to register my car and use it properly as a street car. So the thing is I found the more ideal cost or the you know the reasonable cost is a D15 B7 block. So I'm gonna get a D15 B7 and move everything on this engine to a D15 B7. So it's gonna be a straight D15 B7 non VTEC. It's gonna have eventually test the ITB that I have. So it's gonna be all fun and good. But of course, when you think about it, the 13 second goal is gonna be really, really difficult now. So what I'm shooting for is at least low 14s on a D15 B7 non VTEC. Here's the pistons. The PMO pistons will actually work for a D15 B7 perfectly. So we'll talk about that once I get the block in and start working on it for you guys. Uh, make a video of it and here's the intake manifold the skunk tooth that i've ported several times that i'm going to use that i know is going to be working really good you can see the weld there is extensive this was when we pulled the engine off to double check until then we found out the lto had that update the local office here's the idv so it's going to be a fun content in the future at least for this year we're going to run itb eventually once we finish all the tests and all the runs 
we're gonna run idb and have a content or discuss about how to make it idle good make it drivable and all the nuances and all the stuff that of often overlooked or not really talked about to make an itv work for a d series or a b series on the streets so that's gonna be fun right it's gonna be really really good and of course the itv sounds just so good so it's gonna be fun and worth it and so i hope 2023 has been good for you as it was good for us and of course the whole we have a playlist for the whole year of 2023 we put up 81 videos 81 full length videos so of course this 2024 gonna be awesome for you guys and i hope for that i truly hope for that and of course for you guys to binge watch you can just click here for the playlist